Let's talk about porous materials. Sometimes it is called nanoporous materials. When you are synthesizing, synthesizing means preferring, making a nanomaterial. So how you will know that your material is a microporous material or macroporous material or mesoporous material, right? According to IUPAC, porous material are broadly divided into three types by the pore size. Porous mean pores which contain pores like sponge, you know, porous material contain a lot of pores. So let's know the differences. Microporous material, when you synthesize a material having pore size or pore diameter less than 2 nanometer, so that material we categorize under the microporous material. The example is zeolites, which is dominating the market, you know, the porous material. And the recent developed material is called MOF. This is the second uh, porous material, which is recently developed, right? There is a little bit confusion. If you remember microporous, we just know micro mean when 10 raised to power minus 6, that is micro basically. But if you look into the pore size, this is a nano. But there is little bit confusion, but I don't know why IUPAC, IUPAC keep this uh, pore size under the microporous material, but this is how it works. So when the pore size is less than 2 nanometer, so that material is called microporous material. So how you know, we, how we will know the pore size using BET analysis. You see, then there is also Legmeier. And I say another is, this one is this is also BET, right? BET. The second is macroporous. This is understood. If you synthesize a material and the pore size is greater than 50 nanometer, that is called macroporous. It make little bit sense because macro means big. So uh, uh, among these three, this is big, shows big. So if the pore diameter, if the pore diameter is greater than 50 nanometer, so that you call macro. Mesoporous. This is what I synthesize during my PhD. Mesoporous material is when you synthesize a material and the pore size, the pore size is is in the range from 2 to 50. It means that between these two. So between these two, this is basically called mesoporous material. If, if, a, if a material you synthesize and the pore size is just 14 nanometer. So 14 nanometer means that it is basically a mesoporous material. 